Hello Facebook friends and social media visitors. This is Adam Glazner, Minister in Revival and Evangelism at Mighty Redeemer Ministries. You can check out our website at MightyRedeemerMinistries.com and you can click on the link below this message to uh, navigate there with your web browser. I want to share some things today concerning carrying the oil. We are carriers of God's glory, carriers of the anointing, carriers of revival, vessels for the master's use. And as we are walking with the Lord and preparing ourselves as a vessel to carry the anointing of God, to carry the fire of revival, to carry the power of the gospel, to carry the message and the word of the Lord and release it into this earth and into this hour that God is moving and emerging with the apostolic, the prophetic, the evangelical, uh, going forth taking revival into this world not only to reach the lost not only to reach those who are without Christ but going into the body of Christ and reviving the body of Christ equipping and training and imparting and, and stirring up the body of Christ with the fires of revival with the oil that God is pouring forth the oil is flowing and God wants us to be carriers of that oil and as I was studying in the book of Acts, chapter four, uh, at chapter eight, verse four, about Philip, he's carrying the oil to those in Samaria. Word of God says, therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. And then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed to those things which Philip spoke, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many that were paralyzed and lame were healed, and there was great joy in that city. Philip became a carrier of the oil. He became a carrier of the glory of God, and he took that into Samaria. Samaria was a place of gambling. Samaria was a place of demon possession. Samaria had become disconnected from God, and they accepted other gods. And they had uh, sin running uh, in that city, gambling and, and, and lustful things going on. And God sent Philip down into Samaria to carry the oil of, uh, of the Lord, to carry the oil of the anointing, to break open that atmosphere and release the power of God, to release the healing power of God. And people gave heed when that oil was flowing through Philip. People gave heed to the things which Philip spoke, hearing and seeing the miracles. Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. And even unclean spirits, the devils couldn't handle that oil that was flowing from the Spirit of God. Devils were coming out of many that were possessed with them. Now this is a real... Uh, cataclysmic revival conflicting with the forces of hell uprooting demons out of people causing people to give heed and attention to the outpouring of God's Spirit and, and Philip yielding himself as this carrier of this oil of the Lord uh, people that were paralyzed were being touched by the oil and that were lame were healed and there was great joy in that city you ever been in uh, uh, flowings of the Spirit or in church meetings or outpourings of God where the joy was so strong you were laughing so hard you holding your gut your stomach muscles hurt you the joy of the Lord flows when healing flows the joy of the Lord flows when miracles flow and God is all about being a miracle worker he's all about setting people that are paralyzed and lame free what you need is a miracle from God when, when the doctors have done all they can do and medicine can only go so far and people cannot fix what's going on in your body your being uh, God is a miracle worker he has oil that will flow and touch and heal and deliver and we see Jesus in Matthew chapter 8 carrying the oil Jesus uh, in Matthew 8 14 Jesus carrying the oil uh, to Peter's mother-in-law says and when Jesus came into Peter's house he saw his wife's mother laying sick of a fever his wife's mother and he touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and ministered to them Jesus carried the oil he was living as the example before the disciples and uh, before those to follow him afterward and uh, of course to us that are following Jesus now Jesus carried the oil he was the example of healing the sick and casting out demons and raising the dead and operating in miracles and power 
So he came into Peter's house and Peter's wife's mother laying sick of a fever. Jesus touched her hand. He just touched her hand, touched it, and the oil flowed and the fever left her and she arose and ministered unto them. This oil that we carry heals sicknesses, heals diseases, heals fevers. It, it, it works creative miracles to bring uh, uh, the par paralysis and lameness in people's bodies back to normal. God's oil flows reconstructs the DNA in the physical body. It heals mental disorders. It heals internal disorders. This oil that flows carries the healing power of God. Peter carried the oil uh, to the lame man uh, that we read about in Acts chapter 3 uh, verse 1. Let's start there. In Acts chapter 3, verse 1, well, my touch pad will go there. <laughs> Acts 3, verse 1. Okay, now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, and a certain lame man from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. When seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something from him. them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and his ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. So here's Peter walking up to a, a, a lame man. He's paralyzed in his feet, his legs. He, he, he could not walk. He was a lame man begging. And Peter was the a carrier of the oil of the Lord, the carrier of the anointing, a carrier of the glory, uh, the miracle working power of God. And he told this lame man to fasten his eyes on him and said, look at us. He knew that if the man would receive the oil flowing, that he would receive a miracle and be healed. And so Peter carrying this oil told the man, took him by the right hand, the oil flowed, and immediately the man's feet and ankle bones received strength from the oil. We are carriers of this oil. This same oil that worked through uh, uh, Peter, worked through Jesus, worked through Philip going into Samaria, worked through the Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul was a carrier of the oil of God in multiple accounts in the book of Acts with unusual miracles, signs, and wonders. The oil is flowing. We are carriers of this oil, but you've got to get into a place uh, of operating by faith in God's word. You've got to be in the, the realm of faith where the oil can operate and release. Hebrews 11.6, without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he exists and that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Romans says that uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Word of God takes us into that place of the realm of faith to access the oil. You've got to keep your faith alive. You've got to keep your faith fed strong with the Word of God. You've got to pray in the Holy Spirit, building yourselves up on your most holy faith that takes you into that operation of faith that causes you to access the oil, uh, to keep the oil flowing alive in you. The oil out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. That oil flows through those rivers coming through you, bringing life to people. I encourage you as you pay the price in carrying the oil. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to come up against resistance. The enemy is going to try to talk you out of carrying the oil. He's going to uh, ridicule you. He's going to mount pressure against you. He's going to uh, throw warfare at your mind and warfare at you to discourage you from digging in deep to the Word of God, to cultivate the Word of God strong in you. You need to read the Word of God strong concerning miracles, con strong, uh, strong concerning healing, strong concerning uh, uh, these other men of God. 
God that carried the oil, that carried the miracle power of God. They carried revival. They broke open atmospheres. Uh, uh, they decimated the enemy wherever they came in contact with him. When the enemy manifested, they cast him out. When the enemy manifested, they allowed the oil to flow and destroy the yokes, to, to break the chains, to destroy the works of the devil. And Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. So I encourage you, as a carrier of the oil, continue to pay the price. God is working revival in the earth. He is emerging a movement of revival and of the oil flowing across this nation and across the world. And we're all coming together flowing uh, in this oil as carriers of the oil. Many people need that touch from the oil of God. God bless you today. Uh, send us your prayer request. Let us know what we can pray with you about. Revival is in the land. The winds of revival are blowing. 